Hi everyone, once again welcome to the new video and today we are solving a very important problem. This problem is like got asked multiple times in Amazon, Facebook, Google, Uber interviews and the problem is simple problem like a matrix problem but like solving this problem with the different different approach we can solve this in different complexities. So let's see what is the problem. So first of all it is given a matrix of 0, 1 and we need to find out the resistance of all the elements from the edges nearest 0 and we can consider the distance between two adjacent cells is 1. So like from this 0 to this 0 is 1 and this 0 to this 1 is 1. So for this example clearly as you see we have only 1. So if we have 0 then the distance of that 0 from 0 at the nearest 0 is 0 itself then we have to only worry about all the cells the value which is not 0 so like 1. So this 1 is like surrounding with all 4 direction is by 0. So the close nearest distance is from this 0 or this any 0 like from all the 4 0 is 1. So this is as it is the output of this inputs. In second example if we see this 1 this one is closest to 0 is like all the 3 direction. So the distance from near 0 is 1. Similarly for this is also from this and similarly for this also. But for this one as you can see we have distance we do not have directly a 0 uh, which is on the fourth side. So if on the outer boundary we need to consider as like maximum distance. So we do not take into the calculation we have to take only the e cells from the grid. So this one is like apart from the 0 is the minimum distance 2. So the adjacent 0 is uh, like nearest distance from of 0 from this one is 2. So this is the answer for this. And here are the constraint as you can see we have m cross n product is 10 raise power 4 and the there must be a single 0 at least so that we will get the distance of all the non other 0 cells from that 0. So how to solve this kind of problem? So as you have already got of some idea what we can do for the first brute force or the knife solution we will try to run the cell by cell this matrix whenever we find the non-zero element in that case we need to find out the distance from the nearest cell. So what we can do for this we can create a separate matrix like output matrix and in output matrix we will update the actual distance. So we will create a distance matrix or the result and then we will fill the distances from the nearest zero be based on the appro algorithm we will use. So now finding the distance from the near zero we can use our famous uh, algorithm two algorithm like either DFS or the BFS like we can solve this from the both the approach. But we running for the cell then we are applying the DFS and BFS. So if you are not uh, uh, knows how we write the code and how to solve DFS, VFS I have lot of matrix problem as well as graph problem on my channel you can go through it. But for this uh, we will solve multiple ways. So this is the code. This code is like DFS code. So what I am doing here as I explained we are running the iterating through each cells when we found the cell does not 0 if cell is 0 we will automatically the result matrix get 0 otherwise we will call the DFS method from that current index i and j and try to find out the distance. So for finding distance first of all we will validate whether this the current coordinate is validated or not, valid or not. So they like if x less than 0 y less than 0 or is out of basically this is if the cell if the coordinate reach to the out of boundary or is already visited then we just return the little bigger value which is 10 raise power 5 because we have m or n 10 power 4 so that we is fine. But why I am not returning the integer maximum that is because we are doing plus 1 and the if we add integer max plus 1 that will end overflow. So that is avoiding that that is the reason. Now second case if we reach the cell which has the value 0 itself so that means we need to terminate from here we will return 0 over here and for not reiterate the like not fall this DFS into the loop so we are using visited matrix boolean matrix we will mark it true first for the one direction like whatever path we are going and we also need to unmark it basically it is kind of backtracking it here so that the other path can come and use that cells as well so that is the reason 
and we are running all in all the four directions from let's say if i am on this cell so we will run dfs on the four all the four direction and take the minimum over all four of them once we get we will return so this is the first approach solution and same instead of this dfs part code you can write your uh, bfs code using the queue in similar way with the visited boolean mat uh, matrix help so what is the time complexity of this solution so as if you are not aware but the when we run the dfs or bfs on the matrix so the time complexity is total number of cells so total number of cell in this matrix we have m cross n so every time we will iterate m cross n cell and this also run m cross n so m cross n multiplied by m cross n so the overall time complexity of this solution will become m cross n cross m cross n so which is m nothing but m cross n square so this is the first approach we have solved so can we optimize and the space complexity is also like m cross n as we are using here visited matrix here we are getting new distance matrix so can we optimize this further so let's see the same example what we can do so if we start like instead of like going find out the cell which is non zero value and then apply dfs or bfs in that case we are reiterating all the cells multiple times so can we do something like process some like uh, start from zero so what we can do we will mark all the zero and put into our queue we will apply the vfs approach over here and then level by level we will uh, update the minimum distance so this these all zeros are on zero distance then this all the surrounding adjacent like this one this one this one from both side so this is and this is also so this one so these all one are at distance next layer so this this are on second level if we try to create the graphs then this graph node 0 0 on the one level then second this three one are on the another level while this uh, one will be on the second level so the distance we will fill the second so this way we can write the another solution so for this solution also i have written the code so the code is here so in this code also what we are doing first of all we are iterating through each cells whenever we encounter zero we are storing its uh, i and j pair and also marking it as visitors so that we can't fall in the infinite loop now what we will do once we got this we will run our actual vfs algorithm we will pull the current coordinate x y coordinates and then uh, wrap around all the four direction if the direction is valid and is not visited so this condition is for like if the cell direction next cell direction is valid and it is not visited at then we will update the value of current matrix cell will the new matrix cells value will be the uh, one plus the previous one from where we are coming to this cell so this is on the next level and then we will offer this new cell coordinate to the queue so that we will reach uh, grow the our reach and visit all the cells and we will also mark the this cell is also what visited so this is the second approach now what is the time complex so this solution is like very good like here we are processing all the cells once also which is o of mn and here also we will go through o of like at max we will visit all the cells again let's say so this will be o of mn the time complexity of this solution is better than the previous one and the space complexity as you clearly see we are using a queue here as well as we are using a visited matrix storage so the space of this solution is also m of n so this is very good solution if you are come up with this then you can crack the interview at least for most of the company but some of the company they will also ask another follow up question can you do it better than like either optimize space or time complexity as you can clearly see that we have to at least iterate all the cells once so we can't like improve anything in our time complexity factor so we have time complexity must be m cross n or more like we can't get better than this while we can try to do something with the space complex like in and we will use the same input array and fill the recenses in uh, the same matrix and return it to the output so that way we can solve this in o1 space so let's understand how we can solve this so if let's say at you are at this cell if you are at this cell if you know the distances like distances of this all other four direction already let's say computed somehow 
in that case you just need to take whatever the distance minimum in all the four direction plus one correct if it is not zero if it is zero then the distance is fixed which is zero so now as you see we need to consider four direction and some places what can happen we will going to update if we try to go we may not add calculated if i am starting processing this from let's say top and left like top to bottom top to bottom and left to right in that case i will not have a pre computed value of this two cell and that will be re may re, may be computed after that while we need to use it before it so what we can do we will divide this in problem like run this approach but in two phases first we will run uh, from as it indicated top to bottom and the left to right and fill the distances from this way so at this let me create a result matrix just for explanation so we will go through it one by one so this is the matrix now if we are zero we will blindly fill the zero 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 let's fill all as it is now we are at this one so for this we will take this two direction whatever the top value and the left value and take minimum plus one so this will become one as it is not zero so we have one now similarly for this cell minimum plus one but it is zero itself so we will fill zero there is no need to compute here if we have zero then fill zero directly now for this one uh, this one we will take top value and bottom right now for this cell the left is not there while top is there so if you take zero that will create issues so instead of zero when the cell is out of boundary you we will take the max value some max value like same as the first solution 10 power 4 5 6 whatever but not the integer max so now i take the, this will become 0 plus 1 which is 1 now for this second cell the minimum on the top and left is 1 so 1 plus 1 is 2 similarly for this the minimum on this is 0 so this is 1 now we need to run from uh, another pass like from bottom to top and right to left so in that case we also need to consider instead of just taking blindly the minimum from like in previous pass top and left we will take the minimum from the current value as well as the minimum from the bottom and the right value so for this cell the bottom right all max so this is one as it is for this cell zero we don't have to touch it for this cell two uh, the minimum on this right is 1 and the bottom we will take max so this will 1 plus 1 which is 2 so this will be 2 as it is so for this example this done in from one side pass as well but there is a example we can take that will be uh, so in the example let's say if I have 1 here and uh, uh, just keep only 1 in the center and I surround this with the many zeros so let's say 0 0 and take another column 0 0 or like put me let me put the 0 1 and 0 over here like 1 is over here uh, 0 is better here so this is another if we place this so uh, for this one we will get the 1 and for this one again we will 0 so we are not getting updated value of this if I update further another like if I add another row in this 0 0 in that case now this value will not be 2 this is 1 because the nearest 0 is over here so this will get update from the second pass so that is the idea to solve this problem and that is called a dp as you see we are taking minimum form. so let's quickly implement the video is very longer so let me show you the code which i have implemented and submitted that got success for that approach so here the code is like first I define max value and this is I am doing the first pass from let me put this condition here like top to bottom top to bottom and left to right so we are processing from one place and here we are just checking if it is not zero then only do process then we are declaring top variable if the valid cell i minus zero then take the value from the left to mat cell of that current mat cell otherwise it define the max value similarly for left take the value from oh this is from the left and this is from the top and then update this matrix with the minimum of these two similarly for the second pass we also as i already mentioned we need to consider min among the bottom and right plus one as well as minimum of the current cell value because it may be the minimum from the previous pass like this pass so this is our uh, second pass from bottom to up top 
and right to left so this is approach so this is already successful submitted code so i can resubmit for you to show you so as it got accepted and the time complexity as you can see it's still o of mn mnn is the dimension of our matrix while the space complexity as you clearly see we are just using few constants and we are reusing the input matrix so that is the space complexity is o of 1 so let me know how you like this problem this problem is one of my favorite problem and if you have any concern like in python and c++ coder you can just uh, like code in your language i guess there is a very similarity in both all the languages there is nothing special i use here like which is more java especially is like general so if you like the solution hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching